Mayor, I do want to take the opportunity to ask you while we're all here um, about a different topic, and that is the signs that have been placed saying anybody needs to have an invitation to come beyond the first floor in City Hall. Why are they put there, and what are you hoping to gain by that? Sure. Well, look, my, I wasn't a part of that decision-making process, but my understanding is it wasn't a new decision that uh, OGC was con uh, consulted on that, and that is a standing city policy that has been around for quite some time, and they codified it and put it in the, uh, in the elevators recently. Uh, I certainly uh, am open to the public and always welcome conversation and debate, and if people want to protest my ideas and my policies, they're certainly welcome to do that. It's a free country. I've had many protests on the, the, the steps of City Hall over the last six years. Uh, I've had uh, many critics and emails uh, on social media, and I always welcome the criticism and look forward to the feedback. When was it codified? My understanding is that's a lot, again, we'll have to get someone in the office, OGC, okay. to get back to you, but my understanding is that that policy has been a long-standing policy, it's just never been posted. So nothing's new except for the signs that's and the enforcement? That's what lawyers tell me. That's what lawyers tell me. Okay. Another question off topic. Um, mask mandates, of course, it's a big discussion in the schools. Is that the position of the governor's office and the state? What's your position as it relates to the school district, Duval County School District, being defunded, the amount of money based on what members of the school board make? Do you agree or disagree? I'm not, I'm not going to get in the middle of a fight between the state and our local school officials. Uh, look, I'm a parent. I have kids in schools here. I care about our schools. I care about our children. Um, I, I believe in good faith that, that all parties are trying to do the right thing based on the information, the knowledge that they have. Uh, and I, I'm going to deal with and take care of that, which is under my responsibility right now. And Mayor, regarding the protests that you mentioned, much over the Confederate monument, at least there in Springfield, what is the plan? When will it be moved? Uh, we're working on a timeline, so stay tuned. Can you give us any more? That's what I have right now. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Sorry for the mic issues. Can you get video of her? Because we don't have much. Yes. Yeah. I, I can add to that. Okay. So, so that that particular monument cannot be moved unilaterally by executive decision. That will involve legislation and involve uh, city council's approval. So it's not as easy as many think, um, and uh, that's what's being worked on right now. Thank you.